good evening and welcome to our live crafting session this evening my name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the centre of the UK thank you so much for joining us if you're watching live do say hi and let me know that you're here it's always nice to know who is watching with us if you're watching on catch up or replay whether that's here on Facebook or on my YouTube channel then you if you have any comments or questions just pop them in the comment section and I will um, endeavour to answer those for you so a hi to you Brenda you're very prompt this evening I hope you're keeping well if you have been watching during the week you will have seen um, these three cards being made so on Tuesday we created these two cards so these are very similar and these are the cards that we'll be creating at our coffee and card on Friday in Brackley and on Monday in Toaster and these are done using the vintage tool stamp set so this is my stamp set of the week and if you order this stamp set you get all the supplies to make the cards that I demonstrate so that will include the cards the envelopes and the die cuts obviously it doesn't include any stamped images but if you're buying the stamp set then you're good to go so this is what we created on Tuesday this is the one that took a bit longer and that we created yesterday uh, that's the front of the card and then I've got this little pop-up um, workbench if I do it that way hopefully you can see that so I had great fun with that um, first time well first time that I can remember doing a pop-up card in this sort of format with so many different pop-up cards available um, but the first time doing that and certainly first time doing it live so I hope you enjoyed that one you can catch the video for that on my YouTube channel and today I'm going to do a card inspired by another demonstrator her name is Sharon Armstrong and she demonstrated this fun fold card which I am looking for and now can't find I've got it out to photograph it and it's very difficult to photograph because it opens up into panels oh how crazy is that oh it's right in front of me underneath my phone I beg your pardon um, so this is it and it um, uses a standard card base and it has this little window in the front and you grip hold of that and then it opens up like so so you've got this little concertina section in the middle folds nice and flat so it still go in a standard envelope it will still go as a standard stamp you don't need any extra postage on it and I just thought it was a really fun little pop-up design so I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch um, this evening so if I put that there, hopefully, that's up a little bit further down, um, you'll be able to see it. Um, we're not going to use the stamp set just yet. I'm going to do the stamping almost at the end. Now, ideally, what you would need for this card, as well as your card base, and I've got a layer of paper for the front, is two... Um, concentric or nested dies now you don't have to do this at all you could use a ruler and a craft knife you would have to do a little bit more measuring um, and marking but you could recreate this um, using that so if you don't have a die cutting machine um, you could do that you could also use our stamping up paper trimmer because that would allow you to effectively cut a square out of the center of the card if I just open this up basically what we want to do is create 
this aperture here which is very easy with dies and a die cutting machine I've done it as squares but I think this would also work as a circle it would work as mm, it would work as an oval provided it was um, in sort of portrait format you could also use a punch as long as the punch wasn't too fancy um, you do have to remember that you're going to go through two pieces of um, so one piece of card and one piece of paper at the same time so it needs to be something that's going to be able to cope with that and on our trimmer you can run the blade up and down a few times in the die cutting machine you can put it through a few times and obviously with a knife and a ruler as long as you've got a cutting mat underneath um, you can just keep cutting through until it is um, you know right the way through okay so let's get started so I have a crumb cake card base that I'm going to use again I'm still going to use this lovely vintage tool set um, because it's my stamp set of the week and I have cut a piece of designer paper this is from it's the man which is um, from the same set as this um, and that I used earlier on in the week this is a lovely Cajun craze and I've cut this basically half a millimeter shorter than the front piece so this front piece is ten and a half by 14.85 so I've cut this at 10.45 by 14.8 so literally just the smallest amount taken off and what you need to remember is that we're going to cut out this hole in the middle and I don't want glue in that middle section and you'll see why later so what I'm going to do is adhere glue along here and here down the two sides and then no higher up than about six centimeters yeah lower than six centimeters basically so let's do that first and I've got a brand new roll in my seal this evening so either side and you could use wet glue for this that's no trouble at all one two three you're going to do top and bottom like so good evening lovely Lynn and good evening Rebecca so I've got top bottom left and right okay and then I'm going to do another piece no higher than six centimeters from the bottom Oh, lots of love thank you hi Carol um, so I'm just using that as a guide so I know not to come higher than this little <laughs> this little piggy here because I don't want it to interfere with the panel so if anybody miss what we are creating it's this card here which is a pop-up fold card so I'm just going to add another layer of glue here underneath my pig I hope you're well Carol and Lynn and anybody else who's joined us so I'm just going to pop this layer on here I do need to take my glasses off so I can see so this is half a centimeter smaller half a centimeter half a millimeter smaller than my card okay just so that it's not going over the edge um, if I haven't quite accurately measured it okay like so actually I could trim that a bit because it's almost I've cut it slightly too thin but actually I'm all right with that it's got a little border a tiny border around the edge so what I'm going to do now is place the larger of my two dies so these are from the stylish shape dies you get the square ones you get circular ones and then you get these lovely banners in there as well and I've chosen I believe the largest and the next one down I might be wrong actually there might be one larger than that 
Oh, bless you, Cal. That's no fun with a cough, is it? So what I'm going to do is pop this down. And you could use a little bit of washi tape. You could use a post-it note if you wanted to make sure that that was um, accurate and straight. As long as it's higher than where your glue line went, you'll be fine. And the only reason for that is because I want to take this piece of paper off the layer which is why I didn't want it glued right the way across. Now, I'm not going to bring my die cutting machine over because you don't get to see very much anyway, but I'll show you how it's going to go on the plate. You can see very well, very well used plate underneath. I've also cut a lot of green, so that was probably holly or leaves at Christmas. So I'm going to pop my opened out card on there pop my die on top so this is the larger of the two and if you missed earlier on you could obviously do this with a craft knife and a ruler just measure in from either side or you could use our trimmer like um, I showed you for the previous card so just going to run that through and then we'll run it through forwards and backwards because it's cutting through a few layers. Like so. That down there. And what I like about these is that you get the stitches on the outside as well as on the inside you get the stitches left behind and you get the stitches on this panel and all being well I can separate these um, two pieces okay so that's our base card finished with the die cutting what we're going to do now is create this little concertina piece and you could I would definitely use card for this you could, I think it would be too thin for paper because you just got to be able to um, carry the weight of these layers here. Um, and you could do the same colour. So I've done a contrasting colour, but you could easily do the same colour if you wished. Okay, just make sure we're still live. Hi Lynn from Canada, thanks for joining us. I really appreciate you joining. Okay, so I have a piece, I hope, I'm not sure if this is the right piece or not, but this is cut 14 centimetres by 15. So 14 centimetres gives me a little margin top and bottom from our A6 piece of card, which is 14.85. And then this is 15 centimetres long. And I'm going to score it at 5 and 10. Oh yes, two limbs with the same spelling. If you're in inches, you could cut this at um, 6 by 5 and a half. And score it at 2 and 4 inches if you prefer. But I'm going to score this at 5. And let me just check I've got this the right way around. Yeah, that's the 15 centimetres. So I'm going to score this at 5 and 10. As I say, you could do this with the same colour card. You don't have to have a contrasting card. But I find for demonstrating, it's easier to have a contrasting card because then you can see how it's going to fit inside. And then all we're going to do is fold this up and back. Hi Wendy, lovely to have you join us this evening. I hope you're keeping well. So I'm just using my bone folder. So now I've got this concertina piece like so. And this is how it's going to go into our card. So the open edge at the back 
and the open edge at the front okay is what you want to see so this is going to go in on our base card and I'm only going to adhere the back of this piece hoping you can see this okay so I'm going to adhere this on here and then this remains open and then this piece is going to fold over and what's going to happen is we're going to reinsert this piece that came out and attach it to the front of here so that when you pull this open it opens that flap from the back so I hope that makes some sense now what I'm going to do before I put it all together is I'm going to stamp this element if I open up this card here so this is my finished sample the front piece you're not really going to see but you are going to see these two pieces here oh makes perfect sense thank you Lynn so what we're going to do is the same we're going to add something here and here and then we're going to decorate our front piece so because I'm using the vintage tools I'm just going to stamp anything that will fit in there so you have to be aware that this is five centimeters so just be sensible about what you're putting in so what I could do is a whole line of tools down here and then my sentiment on the right hand side um, so let's put these and we've got these fun little um, tacks as well so I'm just going to stamp this up fairly quickly and I have got I know it is clever isn't it because it I thought it was hinged as well somehow on here it looks like it should be doesn't it but it's not it's very clever not my um, definitely not my original idea I saw it demonstrated by Sharon Armstrong um, a great demonstrator in America you you can find her as TX stamping um, and she called it a pop-out fun fold card so I think I called it the same so I'm just going to pop some tools down here in this center panel so we've got one there and obviously you could put sentiments right the way through let's have this one so although I'm using the tools you could obviously put anything in here um, let's see let's put a little screwdriver and some tacks now I'm stamping this now rather than when it's inside because it's a lot easier to stamp when it's completely flat and also then if I make a complete mess of it I can <laughs> grab another piece of card okay so there's my little tacks let's put tacks up here and here and I'm going to use best family ever and this is going to be for one of my nephews so I'm going to pop the word nephew in there if I can see it down here there it is Okay, so I've got the word nephew and I'm just going to pop that in 
here. Like that. And I'm also going to add sentiment from the set. Um, which is your plain awesome. So just swap that one out. Then I can put happy birthday on the front. Oh! Let's not drop it. I think I've got that straight. <laughs> oh, got away with it, just about. Got little hair on it. I can see that. Okay, so I've got nephew, you're playing awesome. Okay, and then this is that's our insert, and then I've got this element, and then I have pre cut another piece of vanilla which is on that smaller size. So I'm just going to stamp onto there. And let's have, let's see if the plane will fit that one. Just. Okay. And then I'll just add a, a small happy birthday. Hopefully I've got one. So I'm just going to put this uh, just a little way up from the bottom. Like so. I love the detail. I don't think you can see the detail on the camera at all. But it is really, really fine. It's almost like a, you know, an etched um bit of detail so let me see if this happy birthday will fit it does okay this is from best family ever okay so i've got happy birthday just going on there on the front like so right let's cover up the ink and pop this together keeping an eye on the time not doing too badly at all so need to find my base card here it is okay so there's my base card this is my insert okay so what I'm going to do is attach this on the right hand side okay and then put the front on so all I need to do is put glue on the back of this panel here you could use wet glue tape I'm using my seal and what you want to do is just keep this nice and central with a border top bottom and from the right hand side like so so we're just attaching that panel there and then all you need to do is put glue only in the aperture there and only on this piece so that <laughs> when we put this piece back it will then pull that section across okay just yeah you wouldn't want it like that because it doesn't look right so all i'm going to do is hold that flat and put glue in that panel okay i'm just going to do it all the way around but what you don't want to do is um over glue it especially if you're using wet glue because you don't want it to seep around the side otherwise it's going to hold your card completely shut so with that in place just taking the piece that came out and putting it back in pressing it 
on that right hand side okay and now when you open that out you've got your panel like so and now I can put my little element on the front here and I'm just trying to work out can I put yes I can put that on with dimensionals just thinking about that yes I can just making sure it doesn't get in the way of the mechanism that's all uh, just cut some edges of this one Hello Alison, I hope you're keeping well. So I'm just putting some dimensionals around the edge. So I'm obviously using the vintage tools but you could you could do anything. This could be motorbikes, it could be flowers, it could be valentines, it could really be anything you want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to put this layer back in. Like so. That's going to go onto there. And that completes our opening card. So I've got happy birthday with my little plane on there. And then I've got the tools printed on the left my message on the right and obviously the space there to write your own sentiment in I could also add something in here which I think I'm going to just going to put some of those little tacks in that section there and I'd forgotten that I could use a little strip across the bottom and the front but I put happy birthday on there and I intended to put it on a separate strip. Never mind. Okay, I'm going to try not to ruin this. I haven't got this far. So this is where it's much better if you can to stamp this inner. There we go. Got away with it. Um, while it's flat and not while it's attached. Okay, and there we go. That is it. A pop out fun fold card, like so. So, I would definitely add something to the front of this. I might actually stamp or stamp and cut out some of the tools, like I had for the card I did yesterday, um, and pop those on the front. But the main thing is to show you that mechanism there, like that nice and simple and what I do like about it is that it sits flat I know I have put some dimensionals here I could add some additional um, metallic dots so our rustic metallic adhesive back dots could go onto there either in the corners um, I wouldn't put them on the inside here because you don't want them to get in the way of the mechanism but you could definitely put them on the front um, or on these four corners here if you wanted to and so that's it there's our pop out fun fold card I hope you like it I hope you give it a go that's my pleasure Lynn um, we did this actually as our mystery stamping last night in our team meeting so that was really good fun because I gave everyone the instructions um, as they went along so they um, they didn't necessarily see the finished card um, we just had instructions one at a time as they went through so that was really good fun and uh, we all ended up with something very similar uh, lots of different colours and styles and things as well but it was a good good bit of fun so there we go that's our um, final card for this week in our stamp set of the week so if you buy this stamp set vintage tools I send you all of the components to make the cards that I've created this week. 
so you'll have the components for this one and that will include the die cuts and everything you'll have the components for one of these and also our little pop-up um, workbench and the papers to go with it so if you order that before Sunday then you'll get a nice little um, goodie package in the post and I think that's it I've run out of things to say now so it's Thursday evening um, I will be back live Monday morning next week at our normal time of 10 o'clock on Monday with a new stamp set of the week so I hope you've enjoyed um, watching these I have got another one to show you actually which is my um, one that I did my trial with which is why the colors don't match particularly well um, and this is using the floral papers and the um, Valentine's heart the colors don't work but I wanted to test it and in fact this is a smaller aperture looking at it I've used the next size down so that is the largest one and this uses the next two down so whatever you've got if you haven't got a die cutting machine you can use as I say a ruler and a knife you can use your trimmer and uh, get the same effect so I hope you'll give it a go and um, do let me know how you get on and I look forward to catching up with you really soon thank you so much everybody do take care and uh, thanks for watching have a great weekend bye for now